The universe is far more poetic than the Bible or any of the other scriptures if you, in so many ways because the real story is so much more fascinating than the rather mundane story invented by human beings because the imagination of the universe is far greater than our human imagination. It always surprised us, which is why we keep having to go out and ask questions. We don't, the difference between science and religion is that we don't presume the answers before we ask the questions. We keep learning from the universe. And if we just locked ourselves in a room scribbling down theoretical physics as opposed to scriptures, we still come up with the wrong answer. We need to constantly get the check of reality. And one of the more poetic things about the universe, I wrote a whole book about it, is that, is that we're stardust. We all, we all come from the stars, that, that every atom in our bodies experienced the most violent cosmic fireworks in the universe. And the, left hand, the atoms in your left hand may have come from a different star than your right hand, because all the elements, the heavy elements beyond lithium, have carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, all the things that matter, were only created in stars. So to get in our body, they had to have been created in a star that then exploded and died so we would be here. And I made a joke once saying, forget Jesus. The stars died you, so you'd be born, and it's, ca it's caught on. But, but independent of that f bit of facetiousness, the point is, the fact that we are directly connected to the cosmos in an intimate way, and that all of our atoms have experienced the most amazing, violent, and remarkable explosions in nature billions of years ago, and have been around for billions of years and will be around for billions of years to come. That's our connection to the universe that, if you wish, verges on being eternal. It's not eternal, but that's our long-lived connection to the universe. And I find that poetry far more remarkable than, than some silly story written by an Iron Age peasant.